Mars has fascinated us since we first saw that brilliant red-tinged light in the sky. As we've learned more about the red planet, many experts, including former astronaut Buzz Aldrin and scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson, have supported Mars as a prime candidate for human colonization. We've all heard about NASA's intentions to send humans to Mars, and also private companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX. But in practice, how will that work? When talking about living on a whole different planet, the most basic questions arise. What will we eat? How will we walk? And most importantly, will humans be able to breathe on Mars? Well, we will be discussing if people could breathe the air on Mars in today's video, so keep watching to find out more. Assume you're an astronaut who has just arrived on Mars. What would you require to get it through? Here is a quick list to get you started. Water, food, shelter, and of course, oxygen are all necessities. The air we breathe on this planet is rich in oxygen. It is provided for us by plants and some types of microorganisms. However, oxygen isn't the only gas present in the atmosphere. It is certainly not the most common. Oxygen makes up only 21% of our air. Nitrogen makes up nearly all the remaining material, accounting for approximately 78%. So you may now be questioning why we breathe oxygen while there is more nitrogen in the air, but it works like this. In theory, when you take a breath in, you are ingesting everything in the environment. Mars's air. The air on Mars is inhospitable to humans. Mars's air is exceedingly thin, has insufficient oxygen, and is highly poisonous because it has too much carbon dioxide. Only by wearing a pressurized spacesuit and bringing their own oxygen would humanity be able to breathe on Mars. Only 1% of the Earth's atmosphere is made up of it. In other words, Mars has 99% less air than Earth. Part of this is due to the fact that Mars is roughly half the size of Earth. Its gravity is insufficient to prevent the escape of atmospheric gases into space. Carbon dioxide is the gas that is most plentiful in that thin air. And this is a hazardous gas in high concentrations for people on Earth. It makes up less than 1% of our atmosphere, thankfully. And carbon dioxide, on the other hand, makes up 96% of the atmosphere on Mars. Although Mars has an atmosphere, it differs greatly from Earth's atmosphere and the air we breathe here in terms of composition. To begin with, there is very little air pressure. It is around 0.095 psi on average, and at sea level, the Earth's atmosphere is above 14.7 psi or 1,000 millibars by contrast. The Martian atmosphere is nearly 150 times thinner than the Earth's. So what happens if you breathe on Mars? Meanwhile, there is essentially no oxygen on Mars. It makes up only a tenth of 1% of the atmosphere which is insufficient for people to thrive. Without a spacesuit, a human on Mars would pass out in 30 seconds and die in a minute or two. Their lungs would fill up once, but exhaling would be difficult due to the pressure difference between human lungs and Martian air. In their bodies, carbon dioxide would work as poison, but that isn't the major issue because that might not even have time to die. They would be the first to perish due to lack of oxygen as humans cannot survive without it for lengthy periods of time. At the same time, you would choke and your blood would boil due to the low atmospheric pressure. So to cut a long tail short, avoid landing on Mars without a spacesuit. What's the effect of life without oxygen? Until yet, no indication of life on Mars has been discovered. However, our robotic probes have just scraped the surface of the investigation. Without a doubt, the environment on Mars is harsh. It isn't just the air that is causing the problem. The Martian surface contains very little liquid water. The weather is bitterly cold, with temperatures dropping to below negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit at night, negative 73 degrees Celsius. However, many creatures on Earth can withstand harsh conditions. Life has been discovered in the Antarctic ice at the ocean's deepest depths and miles beneath the Earth's surface. Many of those locations are scorching hot or freezing cold, with little to no water and little to no oxygen. 
even if life did exist on Mars billions of years ago when it had a thicker atmosphere, more oxygen, warmer temperatures, and considerable amounts of liquid water on the surface, it is possible that it did back then. Searching for clues of ancient Martian life is one of NASA's Mars Perseverance rover mission's goals. Perseverance is looking for fossils of species that formerly lived on Mars, most likely primitive life such as Martian microorganisms within the Martian rocks. So how will astronauts breathe on Mars? Astronauts will have to bring their own oxygen from Earth when manned missions to Mars are launched. They'll breathe through oxygen tanks that pump air into their helmets, which are perfectly sealed spacesuits. The astronaut spacesuit's life support system also takes care of releasing carbon dioxide and pressurizing the suit to imitate Earth's atmosphere, allowing them to breathe comfortably in and out. The technology for these spacesuits has been around for decades, and they are essentially the same ones that are used in spacewalk missions on the International Space Station today, as well as those that were used on the moon landing missions. Can we make oxygen on Mars? For now, the plan for the first manned flights to Mars is to carry our own oxygen from Earth, but in the long run, if we want to establish a permanent colony on Mars, we'll need a solution that doesn't require expensive travel back and forth between planets. NASA is already working on a solution for producing oxygen on Mars, or to put it another way, collecting oxygen on Mars because we can't create it. The plane's mission is to collect the traces of oxygen in Martian air. MOXIE, or Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, is the name of the project, and the Perseverance Mars rover is currently conducting the first experiments. The MOXIE module is about the size of a car battery and is incorporated as part of NASA's 2020 Mars rover. Over the course of its mission, it will test whether this technology can effectively produce oxygen on site at a rate that is more effective and cost-effective. If successful, this experiment could be an important building block of planned Mars exploration by astronauts. This would be important not only for filling breathable oxygen tanks for spacesuits, but also for addressing the issue of fuel for voyages from Mars to Earth. With this, a spacecraft would only need to transport enough fuel for a one-way voyage, because they could generate their own fuel on Mars, drastically lowering the journey's cost. A longer-term solution to the oxygen problem on Mars would be to terraform the planet's atmosphere to resemble that of Earth, although such an idea is still in the realm of science fiction for the time being. Now, as a result, we humans are unable to breathe on Mars without the use of a spacesuit, since the atmosphere on Mars is too different from that on Earth for us to be able to breathe there. NASA is currently developing new technologies that will allow people to travel to Mars, it is possible that this will happen in the next decade, possibly in the late 2030s. And you'd be an adult by then and perhaps one of the first humans to set foot on Mars. So let us know what you think in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any updates from us. Finally, go through the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.